What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Pay to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. Uh, I hope you're all doing great out there. So if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on, everybody. That is correct, Amundo. That's right. So subscribe right now. It's free right down below. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And uh, without any further ado, let's jump on into it. Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. So let's jump into this. This is not an email. It is not an article. Uh, it's not an experience. Well, sort of an experience. So one of my viewers who has been watching, I would say probably at least, definitely a year, but more than likely two years or so, Josh Pingley. He didn't send me an email, but this was one of his comments on a video from a few days ago. Remember the whole AB5 uh, Proposition 22 thing that's going on in California? Remember that? So Josh left a comment and said the following. He says, look, these companies, meaning DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, these companies should have presented this AB5 or Assembly Bill 5 mess had they just stopped with the long distance, low payouts, the overhiring of drivers in markets, mandatory tipping on orders over a certain amount. Now, this comment got 12 thumbs up, okay? And I was the 13th and I hearted the comment as well, okay? Which actually you can see right there. Okay, so with this being said, what do we think? He is 100% right, okay? The only thing I would say that is kind of tough is, is to push the tipping as much as everybody should be tipping on these orders, okay? Remember something, folks. If you are a customer watching this video, these apps are a premium service. Let me repeat that. These apps, DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, any of these apps is a premium service, okay? Because you don't wanna leave your home to get the food, that's fine, okay? But five, six years ago, you couldn't order any kind of cuisine you wanted. You couldn't order McDonald's, you couldn't order ice cream. You, could, you were lucky to order pizza, Chinese food, and maybe a few other, you know, different kinds of food, you know, from whatever places had uh, delivery drivers, if you were lucky, in-house drivers, okay? The fact is, let me give you an example. Uber, when Uber first came out, it was like this premium service. It was like, whoa, I don't have to call a cab. I can just order a car from my phone and just wait for it and watch it pick come to pick me up and take me wherever I need to go. Now, it's just a glorified taxi service. Okay, there was a video that went viral two or three years ago. There was an Uber technician that was behind the app or whatever, I believe it was in California, and he called an Uber to go to work. The Uber driver picks him up and he has a dash cam on. And the Uber tech guy is, you know, asking the Uber driver questions, the rideshare driver. And he said the exact same thing. He says, you know, when I'm, when I first started doing this, it was like a premium service, you know, and now it's a glorified taxi service and drivers are treated like crap. Okay. Not saying you should treat anyone in any line of work like crap, especially taxi drivers who are out there all day slaving, paying for their own gas on a lot of cases too. Okay. The fact is things have changed and people take these apps for granted. Okay. All right. I have, in, in several occasions, I take the apps for granted. However, I am an excellent tipper, okay? I always minimum give $5, no matter what, no matter what. Even if my food comes out to $10 or 15 bucks, I always tip at least five bucks, okay? Um, and I've tipped upwards of $30, $35 on a really big order. The fact of the matter is this, guys, you know, the customers don't fully understand what we go through and they don't fully understand that, you know, we use our own car. We don't work for the restaurant. You know, we are an independent contractor using our own vehicle with our own maintenance and gas and all of that stuff. 
And that's why when it comes to tipping and, and you know treating the driver properly, they could care less. And then all this nonsense with all the scams going on, like, are you kidding me? Like, I, like I've said so many times, if you told me this years ago when I first started in 2017, I would not have believed you. But here we are, 2021, with all of this nonsense. So when all of this is said and done, in the chat, in the comments, anyone watching right now, which is you, do you agree with what Josh said? that these companies could have prevented this AB5 mess had they just stopped with the long distance, low payouts, over hiring of drivers in markets and mandatory tipping on orders over a certain amount. Now is your time to unleash your thoughts into the comments section or the chat. All right, I'm curious to hear what you've got to say. So with that being said, if you guys ever want to send me anything, send me an email to drive stories at gmail.com it's the best place to reach me or you guys can message me through patreon at patreon.com slash paid to drive okay link is in the description or and uh in the pin top comment down below in the comment section uh anyone who signs up i give you guys shout outs in all my new videos which i'm about to do right now so when you hear your name called say hey pete i heard my name right there in the chat or the comments down below all right so We've got Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. Ari, thank you so much for your generosity. And I'd like to thank these other generous patrons for their generosity, like Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, uh, Kurt, uh, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, you guessed it, Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of them. So if you want to sign up, links in the description down below. Make sure to go check that out and sign up today. And of course, guys, Everybody, if you have not signed up for the Get Upside Gas app, you are, you are losing money. You could be saving money at the gas pump literally today. Link at the bottom of the description. Stop procrastinating. Download it for free on your smartphone. You go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, You'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today. All right. And of course, if you guys want your t shirts, hoodies, and goodies, well, you can go to paytodrivestore.com and get your t shirts, hoodies, and goodies for sale every day. There's tons of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it at paytodrivestore.com. You guessed it, links in the description of the pin top comment. And of course, everybody, if you made it to the end of this video, I thank you kindly. Leave a comment right now in the chat or the comments down below and say end 657, E-N-D 657. It just lets me know you made it to the end of the video, simple. And of course, don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified every time I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one.